All right, so this tutorial is gonna be for my rookies and pros out there. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys how to speed boost because you don't have to be an all-star. The common belief in the 2K community right now is that you have to be an all-star to speed boost. You do not have to be an all-star to speed boost. And I'm gonna be showing you guys that in this tutorial. I'm gonna also be showing you guys some of the cheesy moves that you're getting done off by in the park that a lot of people or just spamming over and over again let's go ahead and get into it but before we do all that what you want to do is go down here to your controller settings you're gonna go down here it's gonna look like this right here right now this right here you want to make sure this is on absolute this right here can stay the same for my own preference I like to put both of them on absolute you can keep this one right here on whatever you want but this right here has to be on absolute that being said Let's go ahead and get into the speed boosting real quick. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So what I did basically when I put it on absolute was, you know, you would flick right right here to do a step back, right? Instead, all you got to do is run over here and do down. You know, when you come up here, you just do down. When you go over here, you do down. When you run over here, down, down, and so on. You know, you run right here, down, and it's going to give you a step back that's all it does it just makes you not have to flick in the direction when the camera changes you know so with that being said let me show you how to speed boost so all you're doing when you're speed boosting is holding the turbo doing a hezzy and flicking the left stick to your non-ball hand so when you go over here right you're gonna do a hezzy you're gonna flick to your right you go over here you're gonna do a hezzy flick to your left you go over here you're gonna flick to your right you know all you're doing is holding down turbo and depending on how good your player is, like me, I'm a six foot five shooting guard, and you know, they make me slow as hell in this game, which makes no sense. And that's why a lot of people have turned to speed boost cheesing. And all you gotta do is just do this right here, and it, it puts you in fast animations. Now this year they did make it so you know it's not really consistent. They give you ug little ugly stiff animations like you're seeing in certain instances where my person just does a ugly, ugly, ugly speed boost like that right there they'll give you something like that or you could do that quick one right there you can't really decide which one triggers because they they like in certain aspects of the game they made sure that you couldn't do anything to cheese you still can cheese you just can't do it at an extreme rate but i've seen dudes out there making point guards you know that's fast as hell especially when you hit all-star you know you hit all-star and you got legends out there doing it if you make a, a point guard that's the right height, the right weight, vicious. I'm telling you. You got killer crossover. You got all that the hesitation stunt. You got all that stuff. Those badges mixed in with your attributes, mixed in with the agility. People are actually deadly out there at the park, you know? So, with that being said, I showed you guys that. Let's go ahead and get into the signature styles. Now, the cheat, all of this right here, leave it alone. Whatever you got it set on for your preference, leave it alone. Because they don't do anything in the park. I'm going to tell you that right now. This right here, whatever you have it set on, keep it there. Right here is where you want to mess around with stuff. All right. So what you want to have is crossover two. This is the main crossover that the cheesy dudes at the park are using. When you keep getting done off by crossovers, they're using crossover two. And I'm going to show you why. You get speed boost off of this, plus you can spam it. So why not? You know these niggas out here are going to use it, so you might as well too. Look at this. Look at that double crossover. And you can do that all the way down the court. And the reason why I'm not taking the whole court is because you're going to get something like this. If you play 2K, you already know. So check this out. When you're running, you just spam it. You know, you can just spam it. It's, 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 it's unstoppable. Not unless you dribble it off somebody's legs. And that's very that happens a lot, you know, in, in this game. I don't understand what they did with the dribbling system, but I mean it's just it's crazy. But ultimately what you can do is you can branch out of this. So watch this. And then you can spin you can do a half spin or you can do a full spin. You know, you can do whatever you want out of this crossover. But if you're going down the court like this, boom boom and boom boom, and then you can do something like that. You can just the better you get on the sticks the better it's going to be all right so the next thing you want to do is and this is all benefiting the rookies and the pros you know i'm not worried about you all-star cheesy ass dudes or your legends behind the back 
Now there's two behind the backs that you want to use. You can either use 7 or 14. You know, 14, there's really no difference. This right here just gives you a speed boost. You have a higher percentage of bouncing the ball off somebody with that. Right here, you have a higher percentage of bouncing the ball off somebody. This right here, that right there, you can spam that all the way down the court at the park. It's super fast at the park. You have, like I said earlier, you have a big chance of, you know, turning the ball over and whatnot because a lot of these are wrapped up turnovers just waiting to happen. Um, you really don't have ball security in this game. I mean, you can do that all the way down the court. In here, they don't look right because, I mean, this court right here, I don't know why, but you can't do the dribbles that you do in the park on this court. When you do um, 14, it's pretty much the same concept. You're just doing it faster. You know, let me show you. Same thing. And then what you want to do is get the ball. 14 is the same thing. See, you're just doing it at a faster rate. And then you go down here and it's the same thing. It's just faster. You can spam this all the way down the court. And I mean, it's, you can bounce the ball off people too. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say go do it, but you can if you want. All right. If you're going to cheese, then it is what it is. Moving on, you get to your spins and you want to use, for me, I use spin six, but you can use six or seven. It's the same thing. Now, spin seven is basically very slow. I mean, you're going to get something like that right there and then you can branch out of it and do a speed boost. I like to use six because it allows you to do a whole bunch of crossovers. For example, you get the ball, you stand still. You spin, and then you can speed boost. Did you just see that? Or you can get the ball, you know, spin. You can hit with a step back, you know, or you can spin. This right here just allows you to speed boost. That's why I like to have it, you know. You can break stride between your animations and just speed boost like that. Then you can release and get buckets. All right, so moving right along, let's talk about the hezzies. So basically what you want to use for hesitation for 2k16 is hesitation 3 now this is the hesitation for 2k15 when you have people running to the corners doing step backs and whatever like that that's pretty much what hesitation 3 is for 2k16 all right so check this out run to the corner three now people say well i notice a lot of people go out of bounds now when they try this that's because they're not taking their angles if you take your angles properly that's not taking your angles properly all right when you get right here and you try to do it from right here, that's not taking angles properly. What I mean by angles, I mean coming up from right here, bouncing it back, and then you'll end up over the three-point line. You want to create some separation between you and that out of bounds because if you don't, this is what's going to happen. See? Or you're going to either go over here. You're going to either end up out of bounds in front of you or to the side of you. So if you take your angles properly, you'll bounce back. And you'll stay in bounds, but you'll still be able to get your three point right. off. So right here, this really doesn't matter until you become an all star. But the main ones you need to know is 31 and 32. All right. What they basically let you do is straight up right here. This is 32. This allows you to do a boost dribble. Basically what this is, is you run over here, you flick up twice, and then you switch hands. You see that quick move I just did? I'll do it again for you. And then you switch. See? And then I'll do it again. It's just like that. And it ain't got to be that close either. It could be anywhere. Do you see that boost dribble that I keep doing? All right, I'm going to do it again. And that's the last one. You can do that. You can, you can branch out. You can put all types of moves together. But like I said, this tutorial is for you rookies and pros. If you have already hit all-star and legend, you don't even care about this tutorial. So let's keep it moving. All right, so right here. I use Kyrie but you get dropped off to this right here in the park i mean let me show you how you do it this is the main move that people use in the park nobody's original at the park so you got to beat cheese with cheese so what you want to do is hold turbo you want to flick the right analog stick in the direction that you have the ball in your hand in all right so in this case we would flick it to the left and they'll do that 
And then you'll see people out there at the park doing all this extra stuff like this and then spinning and then they'll stop and then they'll hit you with that and then they'll shoot, green light. When you see them doing that, you're getting dropped off by what we call the Jamal Crawford. All right, and you can catch ankles with that move. So if you like to make people fall, I advise you learn how to do that. String moves together, and you'll have a whole bunch of montage clips to put on your YouTube channel. That is if you do YouTube, all right? But I stick with Kyrie. The ISO escape, you want Kobe or Kyrie. I use Kyrie, and just to show y'all what it looks like, that's what I use. But you want to use Kobe, all right? So Kobe's down here somewhere. Where is he? Did I go past him? I'm losing my mind, right? Here we go. Alright, so what you want to do with Kobe is... There's multiple ways of doing this. Now, what you want to do is go up top. You want to hold turbo. And you want to flick down on the right analog stick. Now, what you do is you go into something like that. Alright? So, if you do that up here... And you can actually speed boost out of this. This is why people like using it. But... With this speed boost, you got to anticipate where the ball is going to be before it gets there. You know, so let me show you an example. So you're going back, right? When you go back, you want to make sure that you can just speed boost out of this. So right here. Let me show you. Boom. All right, you saw that? Again. Boom. Again. Boom. All right, and then you can hit people with some spins. You can finish up with a dunk. Do whatever you want. All right, so when you when you get your timing down right, all you got to do is just break out of that, and you can get a speed boost every time. See, so you got to you got to be able to anticipate where you're going with that ball before it gets there, or you're not gonna beat anybody off the dribble. When I use Kyrie, I pretty much just you know I just be chilling. I don't be trying to do all this fancy cheesy stuff, but you know that's you gotta adapt. You know what I mean? You have to adapt. All right, so that's the end of that. I mean, it ain't much to show you guys until you get to All-Star. When you get to All-Star, that's when you can do those cheesy 31 and 32 moves. For me, I'm not All-Star yet. I'm getting there. I'm working on it. You know, you see me representing Old Town Flyers and whatnot. But I'm going to get up out of here. If you liked the video, I know it was long. If you stayed throughout the whole video, make sure you leave a like. Share the video around. Um... And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this in an actual park setting. So don't think I'm going to just you hit you with this tutorial and then not practice what I preach, you know. Because I know a lot of people come to my comment section. They be like, hey, yo, man, you always showing us this stuff. But then we don't never see you using it at the park. Well, I start doing that at the park. I mean, there's really no need for me to do it at the park as long as I make sure you guys are eating. You know, because I don't need it to eat. But, you know, with this game, you, you got to you either adapt or you get left behind. But I'm going to get up out of here. Peace.